Hello, brothers and sisters of the Briar, lovers of the leaf. This is Mark Hendricks. It's Thursday, August the 14th. This week we lost two great actors. Of course, uh, Robin Williams uh, with his suicide uh, at the age of 63. That's unbelievable. Um, also, on the uh, 12th, I believe, we lost uh, Lauren Bacall. Uh, she was 89, and uh, she passed on from a stroke. I'm uh, smoking my uh, Falcon with the apple bowl, and I'm smoking another bowl of walnut pipe tobacco, a nice light English. I was thinking about uh, these two actors and trying to think what movies, um, to me, were their best work. Not as far as Academy Awards and all the other stuff, but just me personally that I like the story, I like the way they fit into the movie. Uh, with Robin Williams, gosh, he's got so many. But I believe uh, Good Morning Vietnam, oh, he was superb, unbelievable. Um, and of course, you know, he starred in uh, Mork and Mindy. Uh, that, was, that was hilarious at the time. A spinoff of Happy Days along with uh, Laverne and Shirley, I believe, was a spinoff of uh, Happy Days as well. I'll tell you a different movie that Robin Williams really shows his range as an actor is One Hour Photo. He, he'll scare the hell out of you with that movie. That's an awesome movie. If you can find it, rent it, stream it, whatever, try to watch it. But Lauren Bacall, such a beautiful, beautiful woman. I think a couple of the movies stand out to me. Um, of course, she was married to Humphrey Bogart. They had a uh, on-screen um, chemistry that was unmatched at the time, I feel. Uh, but I believe their work together in Key Largo, awesome. There was another movie that I really loved her in. Well, there's a lot that I love her in, but if I only had to pick a few, I would say I really enjoyed her work with John Wayne in The Shootist. And that was in the mid-60s, uh, mid-70s, I'm sorry. Uh, if you can find that one, uh, definitely watch it. It's, it's an excellent show, excellent movie. Got a great storyline. I was thinking about our uh, our viewing habits, both uh, you know at the movies, the theater, uh, the, even on TV. And back when I was growing up, take Happy Days for instance. If you missed that show, if uh, your mom and dad were watching something else, uh, you know that that came on opposite it, you couldn't take it. Uh, there were no DVRs. Um, there weren't even any uh, VHSs, tape recorders, um, and Betamax. Look that one up. You probably never heard of that. A lot of you hadn't. Yep, we're lucky. Um, nowadays, we've got Netflix, streaming, um, Redbox, streaming, Redbox, at the Redbox, uh, Hulu Plus, Crackle. Um, you got uh, Blu-rays, DVDs, um, on and on. Uh, but Raku, Rock, Raku, whatever it is, that's another streaming um, device. Uh, Google's got the Chromecast. You can watch Netflix through it and stuff like that. That's always interesting.
like I said back in my day, you missed it. You There was a good chance you missed it. Uh, the only hope was that, you know, the new um, season, the new TV season sh uh, and shows would come out in the fall. So those were the first runs. If you missed it, there was always hope you would catch the reruns during the summertime. But there was a good chance you may miss it as well. You couldn't order off of Amazon the, you know, the 10 year set of um, Happy Days or Seinfeld or just whatever, The Simpsons or whatever you were looking for. And of course, back then you only had four or five local channels. That was it, there, were no, there was no cable back then. So we've got it made um, in this time. Yep, two actors we're going to miss greatly. But hopefully some of these cable uh, companies will pick up, uh, maybe run some marathons of their movies. So we live in a good time, very good time when it comes to media right now. Some of you out there should ask your uh, mom and dad what Betamax is. They'll know. Anyway, I guess I've rambled enough. Um, I guess what started me off on this is I watched the uh, El Magnifico's uh, tribute to Robin Williams, and um, you know these actors do touch our soul, and uh, they're greatly missed. Well, I just want to say thanks to all my subscribers. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks to the uh, commenters. I do love the interaction. Um, I want to wish everybody out there in the Briarhood peace and happy smoking.